Hey everyone, my name is Annie and along with many others I've been a part of redesigning our Division 1 national season. It's been really exciting developing a plan to make our Division 1 season more meaningful and more equitable. The hope is that the new Ultimate Australia Tour will increase the competitiveness of our Division 1 teams by allowing all teams to access more high level games but importantly, the tour will remove some of the existing barriers from teams outside of Sydney and Melbourne. Welcome to the 2020 Australian Ultimate Tour. It's three regular season events, including a qualifying event that leads up to a national championships. Here's how we see it working in 2020. It all kicks off with the Australian Ultimate Qualifying Tournament in early February. 16 teams in the men's and the women's division will both compete. The top 12 teams will earn a spot in the Tour and at Nationals. The Tour 2 event will follow in March and Tour Event 3 will be the final regular season event. Excitingly, this tournament will be uh, open to international teams to uh, bid and to come from the region. Um, so we envisage it almost as like an Australian Open for Ultimate. Uh, every game during this season will matter. And with the help of a ranking algorithm that allocates points based on the strength of your opposition and the size of your win, there will be a winner crowned at the end, the Tour Champion, which is super exciting. Uh, the final ladder positions will impact the seedings and the draw at Nationals, but just like in previous years, on day one of that Anzac Day long weekend, anyone will be able to win and a National Champion will be crowned at the end of that event. The current format of all of our national events puts a hefty financial strain on teams outside of Sydney and Melbourne, but with the new savings redistribution scheme, this burden will be relieved and will allow players from places like Perth, Brisbane and Adelaide to get access to more elite opportunities, while all at the same time reducing overall season costs for everyone. For most Div 1 teams, you won't really experience much change, except your season should be clearer which means you'll be able to book flights and plan well in advance. Cheaper, either through reduced fees if you're from a non-Sydney or Melbourne location, or less domestic travel, and more competitive, with more high quality games that matter, including elimination games. This change is just the beginning, and we really want your help to make it the best it can be. The mixed season and Div 2 season will remain largely unchanged next year, which will give us time to hear feedback on how the tour went, and understand how it impacted those two seasons. And there are still many further discussions which we'd love to include you in around the de details of cost distribution, qualification, and also the ranking algorithm. We're really looking forward to seeing how the Ultimate Australia Tour unfolds and its potential to push the intensity and diversity of Australian Ultimate. So, see you on tour.